the joint. Yeah, sounds great. Going on an adventure. An N95 adventure. <laughs> going to find some coffee in Bethlehem, PA. With the amount of travel and different cities and stuff that we go to, we thought we would start kind of a series on the things that we get up to on the days off in all of these cities that we go to. Because we're not in like really big cities this tour. Not we're... this tour, but sometimes we are. And we figured it would be kind of cool just to have like a log of the places that we've been and just some like our travel advice and the things that we do on our days off and where to go and, s and what to do in all of these cities that we go to. So we found the joint again, down this funky little alleyway. joints back in there and there's this nice open outdoor seating area kind of in behind all the little shops off Main Street here. Super cute. Hmm? It's super cute. Yeah. So this little area downtown Bethlehem is actually really cool. Um, we grabbed our coffee, went to the oldest continuously operating bookstore in the world, Moravian Bookstore, I believe. I think I read that it was 1745 that it opened. I will double check that. But uh, yeah, kind of cool. Just now walking to go across the river to the uh, steel manufacturing area and take some photos and wander around there. Kind of check it out. Possibly get another coffee. got here and the gate is big and locked and we can't get onto the cool trussle thing that we wanted to walk on but we're still near the uh, steel manufacturing which is kind of cool so I guess we'll go walk around I think we need coffee more coffee yeah, let's get lit <laughs> <laughs> that's the coffee shop just to be clear <laughs> So we walked down and there's another gate that came up the stairs that was open and we we're able to walk around in a little zone here and kind of get up to the level of all of the pipe work. I don't even know, but all the rusty old material here is super, super cool. And there's a view inside the factory there, which I'll show you in a second, but very cool spot to just come and wander around. And there's nobody else here, which is added bonus. This is also super cool. They've turned this area into like a little amphitheater concert venue out front of the old steel stacks. Super neat. Well, that was actually really, really cool. And I'm super glad that we found this next staircase that was open because getting to go up along beside these things was really cool. I think I got some really cool photos and some video. It was fun to get out and see something like this and not run into any other people, which was really, really nice. So yeah, all in all, pretty cool little adventure in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Are we gonna go get lit, guys? Huh? Yeah, let's get lit. <laughs> cool. All right, more coffee, sweet. There it is, Taylor's gonna get lit. We got their insides all closed up, so we can't sit and enjoy this. But I kind of get it. They're trying to be as safe as possible and, and lit, so you can't sit and have your coffee. But there's still, obviously, we can go in and get a coffee. So we did that. Which I appreciate that they're trying to yeah. keep everyone safe. So Absolutely. That's a cool thing. So we're now done in downtown Bethlehem, and we are going to head back to the hotel and get ready to go to work in a little bit. Yeah. See you later.